funny guy. Okay, Eve, I'd like to welcome you to the, uh, to the Quantum Life event. Um, first of all, thank you very much for coming down. I know, you've both, I know that you have uh, uh, clinics both here in the U.S. as well as in Europe. Could you give me some examples of perhaps uh, some of the results that you've been achieving using the life system? Well, uh, since I started working with the life system, I had some incredible results with uh, quite a number of patients of mine. <clears throat> One of them was a 15-year-old girl who had very severe uh, epileptic seizures uh, about three to four times a week and after one single session the seizure stopped completely she came back three weeks later never had a seizure again so we treated her once more and the reactions were amazing with everything that had to do with uh, epileptic another person came in with a, a fractured leg the tibia was broken it didn't heal for three months and after one session, she, the, the next day she returned back to the hospital, they made a new x-ray, and the fracture was gone. And like this, I have uh, quite a number of examples to tell you. Eve, you spoke to me about uh, bone melting. Could you give me your philosophy behind your bone melting theory, please? Yeah, bone melting is very easy, because uh, if you know what a body is, then you will immediately understand the way you have to do bone melting. A bone is made of calcium. That is according to the medical, um, to the medical core. So, if a bone is made of calcium, you go and look at it, look it up on the elements table, and you will see that the calcium atom is a core with some energetic charges turning around it. And because of the setup, they call it calcium. Because it is this way, it's calcium. So, my bone is made of a dynamic energy. It's not made of matter. It's only that a huge amount of dynamic energies can come to get together and create something that looks like a bone to us. But it's an illusion because a bone is not a static piece of material. So what you do, <coughs> what you do is, with the help of some energy antennas, you speed up the vibrational. Uh, level right at the area of the fracture. It's the same as you can do with water. If you slow down, it becomes ice. If you speed it up, it becomes water, and if you speed it up more, it becomes vapor. And you won't even see it in the air, but it's still there, the water. So what you do is you make the vibrational level so that at the line of the fracture, the bone becomes fluid. And then with an energetic tool, we can, it's like a piece of paper that you can join two drops of water and immediately they, they run into each other. That's why I call it bone melting. And now you've had many write-ups in the newspaper, both here as, I um, have as at well least as in Europe with some uh, major top athletes. Do you want to share some of that? Yeah, I treated a, a top athlete in Holland. It's a kind of ball game where three players are on, are on each side of the playground and he had a quadruple fracture of his big toe. He was supposed to be in a cast for another three weeks. He came to my center for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday because I always request three sessions in a row to solidify the whole process. And <clears throat> the third day he went back. Luckily it was midsummer and we had a heat wave, so he complained about the cast being too tight and hurting him because I know that orthopedic surgeons they refuse to remove a cast if there is no reason for it. So his complaint was that because of the heat, the cast was hurting him. So they removed the cast, and before they put a new one, he said, well, look how I can move my big toe. I don't feel anything, but we knew it because we tested it in our center, and he, could, he had free movement of the toe without any pain residing in it any longer. And another case is a very well-known top athlete, a Dutch top athlete, he had a severe accident, he's a gymnast, Jeffrey Wamas. He had an accident in France on one of the major international tournaments and he broke both his ankles. And they said it was the end of his career, it would be over. So we contacted the doctor of the Gymnast Federation, she's uh, Dr. Elizabeth Lynn. I explained what I was doing and she allowed me to treat the athlete. He came to our center for three days. We treated him twice a day. 
one session in the morning, one in the evening. Then he went back to the doctor, and together they went to the hospital and required a new MRI scan, which they refused. But she insisted, being a doctor, she insisted really vigorously, so they made a new MRI scan, and the next day the guy was back on training. Six weeks before, they were supposed to remove the cast. Wow. Now, and now having a look at your appointment book, I, I see that things are getting a bit interesting. Do you want to share with me your, your experience since you've had the life system with well, your appointment book? As you know, I bought my first life system somewhere around March 10. That was with the World Championship in Salt Lake City. That's where I got my first. Hi guys. Thank you. That's where I got my first system. And uh, within a week, we had the first month fully booked. Within the second week, we had two months booked. And it kept on exploding this way. So I am now here in Phoenix to come and get my second unit because we are already fucked with fully fully booked with two systems until mid of June. So for the next three weeks we are fully booked with eighty treatments a week. Yeah. Eve, thank you very much for your time and thank you. You're welcome.